He is going to get that level of force quicker. However, perhaps me, because, oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Run. Down bottom. That's some action started off by Blacks International. Oh, first blood draw by Leon King Wise. What just goes on here? Top side of the map. And by the way, unbending will. That is a bending will, but now look at mid lane. I'll be my UA. But it's not going to be enough to save all my Venus. Leon gets another. Alpo gets on out of there. Not enough damage from Owl just yet. What's going on? Occupy's winning the what? Last two or three big engagements here. Yeah, you can see that being reflected to their economy. It hurts for even the Thorn Rose, right? For the rest of the team, especially for Owl, he's got to play it a little safer because he knows that Occupy have hounded him on this bottom side. Owl forces a pick up, but the DJ comes in. Owl didn't see that coming. He goes down. That's a kill going over to Occupy once more. And they're pressuring gold lane. Look at all my Venus and Wise. There's only so much they can do. Underneath the steel one down bottom. Leo dives in as a fan machine spent in. Plus a puncture. Forced a flicker from the queen. Leo gets the kill. And there's the WM by Yue. And they're still going to punish Wise. Vengeance going down. And here we go. Split, split from the glue. There's the final slash flickering on out. Now that both of these teams are going for the next objective. That's a 2v2 up top. Turtle has been reset. That's the split split already spent up. Edward knocking him up. There's the possession coming in to pull onto Wise. Oh, Brazer's Wrath coming in. There's another knock up. Turtle still standing a third of its life in. And they are going to let go down bottom though. They pop the queen once more. Kill going over to Speedy. But the turtle goes over to Blackness International. You can see how they're dividing and conquering it. Damage here, but up until this point, she's not able to reach her power spike just yet. Oh, the RWM keeping them where they need to be. Owl pop speedy. And now from the west, there's another. Oh, that's a double for Owl. Oh, smile was misplaced. And there's the appraiser draft and the knockup. Still lacking the top for she out of flicker from Morrow. Do it. Hates down the Kaja. And Leo is in trouble. There's a puncture on out. But look, Wise going to catch him. And will Wise finish? Oh, there it is. It's not enough to talk. Finally gets it down. Venus gets sweet revenge. Yep, this is a collaborative effort coming in from Blacklist International right now. They've fully adjusted to how Occupy have been. When it comes down to these neutral fights, and now that they've adjusted, the entire team has kind of realigned themselves. And the calls coming in for Oh My Venus, impeccable as always. Oh, that's a three-man rotation up top. Cow goes Agent Zero. Speedy gets a kill and a turret. See, I love this, right? I love this back and forth. I love that Occupy are still able to trade back punches against Blacklist, who up until this point have actually taken back that economy lead. They have a turret in the top side, and now with 10 seconds remaining on the next neutral objective, both teams are going to go for it. But something to note is Wise and Leo are at the same level. Lancelot, Fredrin, who has a better chance getting that turtle? Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, I would say that it's pretty 50-50 as of right now. Wise now has had quite a clear advantage being the level up, but notice the positions from Occupy. Oh, Wise comes in with a taunt and then knock up the final flash. Agent Zero pops one. Smile goes down. Now Maro out of position. Look at how deep Blacklist is. Oh, no, but wait. Sick corner of Maro. They're going in. Edward, can he get it? And that's going to be it. Not going to be enough to stay in and now the Lord is up. Well, Occupy are two men down. Oh, this is this is not a good position, especially for Leo. She's going to try one before, but it's not looking. It's looking real grim here. Oh no, they're going to pop him. Speedy makes the most of it down bottom. That's going to be the Lord over to Blacks International, but they will have. Weren't able to achieve it just yet. I'm curious to see what the items are looking like here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Venus is still able to get out. Still sell. Oh, oh my God! There's a knock up on the Alpha. He's not going to live for long. Yue gets the kill, pushing back all of these members of Occupy behind their tier two. Man, that's a little unfortunate there. And this is why, especially when you have the Arlet and when your side leads, once you unlock him out of it, the mid tier ones and tier twos, as much as I would like to emphasize the tier one mid, be one of the most important. It is going to feel onto Owl, but other oh, than that... They oblige Alpha. He wasn't expecting that much damage. They pop the XP later now, and it's... Oh, that's a good seal play. Look at this underneath. Leo might be off position. Smile goes down. But wait, can Owl survive? There's a final slash from Edward. And now why surviving? He does have the immortality. Watch out. 
dashing on through. Oh, this is a messy engagement. Wise is separated from the rest of Blacklist. Here comes Omay Venus and Owl as well. They might pop Owls. He wants to ask. The answer is no, he lives. No. Leo, though, at a tenth of his health, they push tier one. They finally crack open that tier one. Wise, he doesn't mind. He may be a little low, but the rest of his team should have more than enough damage. And with the passive, he's going to regenerate with Sky, with the, sorry, not Sky Guardian's helmet, the Guardian's helmet, back to where he needs to be. But more importantly, do they really need this Lord? Am I... Personally, I don't feel like they want it. They want Occupy to walk out of their base. They want Occupy to get wiped out so they can finally finish this off. But notice that even Occupy don't want the Lord. They recognize that they could potentially lose a fight. Play to your strengths. You have a Kaja. Look for those angles. Yeah, they want to be masters at baiting right now. Right? They need to be able to beat Occupy to be able to get more on the board. And like you mentioned, they realize that Speedy just centralizes his focus on these objectives. Edward, the only one in the base to defend. Oh, those are three big siege minions. Edward has to do some work. At least Blackness have gotten something off map all this while. Occupy was playing footsies across. Now, Maro, look at this. Does he know that there's this bush? Oh, rings of order. As well, because at the end, Xavier, despite everything, he does still deal that damage from a really long range. And look at that kiting Ooh. as we head into a technical pause. Ladies and gentlemen, it's only going to take a while. Well, don't worry, remember fair play is our utmost priority. We want to make sure that both the players, just even the fans, and you guys as well at home watching get the best viewing experience and get, get the best playing experience as possible. Let's uh, slow it down a bit. I did not expect that explosive of a start from a lineup that we expected to scale. To get to a comeback? I think they're going to have to sacrifice some inhibitors here, but let's get back into the fight. Whoa! Whoa. Real world manipulation. Enough of a box to threaten the kill here. Eventually gets Maro, and there's an ult coming in from Owl. They do clear the wave. Occupy still breathing, and they take down the Lord as well, but there's still this huge wave crashing through. They did kill the oh siege God. minion. Down goes Maro. Down goes Leo. life just to get rid of that low minion and now Maro himself might have to do the same with the collapsing of the waves RWM Maro gets his immortality popped and just like that Blacklist takes game one